And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to let you know that I'm going to be working on my first mod. I have never done any of this before, so looking at resources have been has been difficult trying to figure this out. I opened up the creation kit for the first time and, and I looked at it and said, what do you do? So I was looking up old resources for Skyrim, Fallout, trying to figure out how to use this thing. But yes, let's go ahead and show you the journey and also create tutorials along the way so that you know, so know what it's like to go through this and at the same time, maybe inspire you to do it as well. So first things first, let's figure out how to use the, or you need to get the creation kit. So yeah, download the creation kit. It's on Steam, Starfield creation kit. Download that, install it, it's absolutely free. Next part, you need to modify some files in your Starfield directory. So we're gonna load it up, load this one up. We are going to go to program files, the one that says x86. We're going to go into Steam. We are going to go to Steam apps. At least this, this is what was for me, probably what's standard for you. Go to Common and Starfield. And in this directory, you're gonna find a file called starfield.ini. And yes, I'm gonna have everything listed in the description as well, like the directions in the description. So yeah, go ahead and edit the INI file in a notepad or whatever editor you have. At the very bottom, you're gonna add the line B invalidate older files equals one. This allows the game Starfield to load up your mods that are on your local computer, All right? Go ahead and save this INI file. There you go. Next up, we are going to go into the tools directory and we have this zip file called content resources. I'm gonna open this up in a new window. All right, and the one that you want to consider will be the scripts directory here. You're gonna copy that into another directory. So before we do that, let's go back to the Starfield directory. Let's go to data and we're gonna create two new directories here. And notice that these are all, this, this is also the area where you're gonna save your um, your mods, your created mods. So I'm gonna create a new, new folder. It's gonna be scripts, right? So capital S, C, R, I, P, T, S. And then we go into scripts, and then the next folder you're gonna create in there is source. So go ahead, file, new folder, source. Then you're gonna copy all the files from that zip file, uh, everything in the scripts directory in the content resources.zip file, copy all of it, and paste it into source, and let that happen. Just let it happen. Um, two minutes, so we're gonna fast forward for two minutes and go on to the next step. All right, everything is loaded, so let's go ahead and open up the creation kit. Let's launch. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> we know what we might we might need to fast forward here too. It might it might take a while to load up. So fast forward again. All right, we are up and ready to go. So let's give you an idea of what's happening here. You have your objects window. You have your self view view window and you have your cell. So this is like everything that relates to the visual of what it is and, and the and the manipulation of it, of an object or a um or a landscape. Okay, real space. So I'm I'm also learning terminology as well guys. So this are your windows, but no data has been loaded up yet. So we're gonna go to file data and this you can see all the plugins and mods that I've already downloaded so far. So starfield.esm, double click on that. That is your main set of everything, data for the game, all right? That's the base game. And then we also have some of the latest updates from the game in here too. Like one of them is like, has all the empty habs in there. Um, it has the, yeah, all the latest updates. It's, it's gonna be, it looks like it's probably gonna be set up this way too as an ESM file. So. That's where you can check it out. And if you want to look at someone else's mod and see how they created their stuff, that's available th there too, all right? So open up starfield.esm, hit okay. And this may, this may take a while to load up as well. So uh, yeah, let's fast forward through this as well. <laughs> fast forward, let's go. Okay, so that took a few minutes to load up. Now we have everything loaded. So we have all the objects listed here as it disappeared. <laughs> okay, there it reappears. <laughs> like, All right, so everything's here. 
like the actors to uh, all your uh, armor, weapons, ship modules are all listed in here. I mean, you might need to figure out where everything is located in this tree. And of course, you could always click on all to just have everything show up, right? As have everything show up and then you have this nice little text filter so this might take a little while to load um, all the files that are available in there but yeah it also has the forms generic forms like the ships like the ship habs they have a list of what the exterior looks like and what the interior looks like so those forms d determine where each piece or where one hab where the both the um, exterior and interior should be and in the interior they also have have a setup where you can put all the objects in there but yeah so there's a lot of things going on here so if you need to find something you can always just click on all and just say hey find me a um xeno tech armor xeno just you know i'll just put xeno as it loads there and then you can find all the files related to xeno and yeah it's going to be the space suit you see you know specialist so that's the spacesuit there's the backpack and yeah so that's where all those pieces are I can't even read this can you even read this <laughs> it's like they'll figure this out we'll figure this out as we go along but yeah there, everything is here and um, so yes what we're gonna do in this mod something simple is we're gonna open up a world space we're gonna open up Sidonia we're gonna place a loot container in there we're gonna create a brand new loot container Put some objects in there, put it in Sidonia, uh, save the mod for you to test out, and then um, open up the game and see how it works. So th that's that's how we're going to roll. That's how we're going to roll. So this is what we're going to do. We go and go to our cell view window here. I mean, this is my layout loadout right now. I think when you first load, open it up, like all these windows could be everywhere. I think everything is like was put on the left for me at one point. So I'm going to look at Sidonia City. All right, Sidonia City, it'll pull up some different editable sections there. I'm going to go Sidonia Exterior 01. All right, and yeah, yeah this this could include like a bunch of rooms in the area. Look, so like um, has a firing range, Spaceport 01. But yeah, so I'm going to open up Exterior 01, and sometimes it's a bunch of pieces in there too, small pieces of a whole. So yeah, I'm going to open up XT01, let that load. We'll see how long it takes. Fast forward. Okay. It crashed. Because I think I was running OBS at the same time. But anyway, we made it. So I reopened it, loaded up the uh, the world, the world space for Sidonia City. And um, I'm recording again. So I had to stop the recording, load this up. So maybe, I'm, I'm guessing that maybe I'll, I'll have, if I do edit more in the future, I'll have... Um, the 3D space is loaded up first. If I if I am editing a 3D space, world space. But yes, so you see this whole dark area. I'm going to turn off the light setting here so you can see everything. Right, toggle lights. So that's the light setting for Sidonia, and this is when it's all right. There you go. So we are currently looking at the spaceport. This is where you land. This is the entrance to that little rail right here and going up. So movement right away. You need to hold shift. Just make sure you hold shift. And then you can move forward and back, or try to move forward and back. Let's see, how's my how's my computer handling this? But another way to do it is click on item, and then hold shift, and then you can move. Oh, that's probably why. Okay, so yeah, so I clicked on this. The um, but yeah, once you click on it, an item, you can easily move around the space. So I'm just moving my mouse. I'm holding down shift still, and if I hit W, so W A S D F. W A S or W A S D is the movement. Notice how I'm moving very slowly. The if I scroll, scroll up, it moves my. It makes me move faster, slow, or scroll backwards. And you can go all the way to a stop. And of course, just if you let go of a shift, you can zoom in, zoom out with the scroll with the mouse. And yeah, so I'm just going to go in here. Just use W A S D as my directional and go right here so this is where I'm going to move something I'm gonna I'm gonna add a container here all right I'm gonna add some stuff to it so that's this is what we're gonna be and of course you can click on multiple things here but let's start going through our objects we are going to load in um, a container so the container and this is probably something you need to explore to figure out where things are but yeah once you 
like search things here, right? The, the Xeno, like we, we looked up Xeno something before, but yeah, Xeno Fresh Container. Like if I right click on it and say, hey, select object in tree view, it'll go figure out where it is in the tree view. At least it, I hope it did. <laughs> I'm still learning this too. Uh, how do you how do you use this thing, guys? How do you? Oh, there it is. So Xenofresh container is here, right? No. Well, anyway, that was my hope. But anyway, so I'm going to take off the filter. I'm going to go down this tree, but just know that there's methods. So I'm going to go into world objects container set dressing set dressing, right? I'm going to go into crates. And I'm going to go to Loot Storage and click on Loot Storage Miscellaneous Box 01. It has these different versions of the container. If I double click on one of this, it'll open up a little box for the container. Show me exactly what it is. It'll give me what's in it and the name of the box and everything like that. So yes, we are going to create our own. So the method I like to put in there while you're testing or creating something um, before you even change one of these because like if you change one of these it will change every single instance of that container right so i would probably want to duplicate one right Let's create a new one and i'm going to rename it i'll rename it to um wait oh let's see let's go to edit and rename it here so i'm going to change the id I mean, this is one method too. Just change the ID, it'll create a duplicate. So I'll put J Ramos works um, test zero one, and I'll give it the fun crate. So that's the name. That's what that's what you'll see when you look at it. I'll hit OK. So I'll rename this, copy new. So you have changed the the forms editor ID, create a new form. And I'll hit no. Are you sure you want to rename this object? This object is currently used in by zero objects and zero references. Perfect. So that say yes. So yeah, there you go. So I renamed it. Now I'm going to go back to editing it, and let's have some fun. Let's go ahead and this is how we add objects here. I'm going to <laughs> and you just click on this down, this this menu, and it has like all the objects that you could possibly put in there. I'm going to put in. I saw this. Say like, yes. Let's do it. We're putting it in Astra. Where is it? Astra. <laughs> Astra. There it is. Astra. I'm going to put 1,000 Astra in here. All right. Oh, wait. There, I forgot to. Oops. Oops. I forgot to add new. So click. Click on the item list. Right click on it. Click new. And then, then you could switch something out. So either you highlight it or you switch something out. So there you go. Let's go back to the Astra. Can I type A? Oh, I could type. Oh, perfect. So I hit A and went all to went straight to the A in this list. Um, learning as we go, everybody. Click Astra. I want 1,000 of these. Boom, 1,000 Astra. I'm gonna also add in. Um, yeah, you could add in anything like the Xenotech armor that we had, like we looked at before. So that's gonna be here. Let me see. I click on this. Let it hit space S. Spacesuits. All the S things that are in here. All your skill magazines. Hey. You can put all your skill magazines in one spot. All the way down. There you go. Space. Assault helmet. I want to look for Xeno. Space suit Xeno. UC Xeno specialist. Yeah. Let's put that in there. And you can put anything else you want in there, but that's I'm good. I'm good. Just for this. Just for this video, let's hit OK. And all we have to do now is take this object and drag it over. Boom, I'm gonna hit Shift and hit W so I can zoom in a little bit more. There it is. Now I can move this, I'm just dragging the, the, the mouse. So this is hitting the X and Y axis. So for this, you're looking top down, that's your X and Y axis. If I hold Z, then I could move it up and down the Z axis. And if it's floating right here, all you have to do is hit F and I'll drop it down to the floor. So yeah, and then if I hit my right click button, I can rotate it. And then if I just tap W, right, not holding shift, just tapping W, it has me, it put, brings this up and you can rotate things this way as well. Or try to rotate things, there it is. Um, but yeah, you can hit this, and you hit this, and you don't like it, 
you can hit undo. And there is a means to set this up, like in properties or something like that, so like it rotates in specific angles. So it's like you just hit, like I, I just want this to move in like a 45 degree angle, right? You can do that. So yeah, I hit undo, and then that's it. That's I think that's all I want to show, right? And make yeah, if you ever want to move, make sure you hold down shift. <laughs> that's like hold down shift if you want to move around. Okay, and if you're in, a, I think if you're in a situation where you're like, oh, where am I? Where am I? What, what's going on? I think you hit Shift F, and it'll take you to that object. All right? If you somehow like go, oh no, where am I? What I was like, where, where, I'm looking at this. Shift F, and it takes you back to the to the object. Okay, so those are my basic learnings for now. So I think it's a great way to start up. Let's save this thing. It's gonna hit save right here. It'll take you to the data folder in the start field. I'm gonna call it J Ramos Works underscore test 001. Hit save. So yeah, this is an ESP file. This is what you want to use when you are um, like building your mod, right? On your local computer. If you want to, if your if your package is ready to like publish, right? Then you want to go to um, what is it called? Like content. Con convert active file to a small master, medium master, or full master. This is depending on the size of your mod. I, most of them will probably be small. Okay, like even the ones that were updated from Blizzard, not Blizzards, <laughs> Bethesda, they were mediums. I didn't see if I didn't. I don't think I saw a full one in there. But yeah, there you go. So I saved it. We're good. Let's open up Starfield. Right, right. We're good. Can close this. Try to close it. All right, let's go into the game. Let's play it. And the next thing we need to do is make sure it's in a load order. So I'm gonna let it launch and we'll fast forward to the load order. Okay, so here we are. Let's go into the creations menu. And you want to look at our load order and make sure our mod is loading up. So just click, go down to load order, order. And then there it is, J Ramos test, test, 001. <laughs> Did I put test, test? Really? All right, click on that and go back. Let that happen and let's load up our game. I have one in Sidonia right here. I'm gonna go to the okay, we have just loaded in. We are at the spaceport in Sidonia right here. And here is the chest we just laid out, the container. There we go. And let's go hit transfer. And I have my Astra, my 1000 Astra. I also have my UC anti Xeno spacesuit. Woo! Woo! We did it, everybody. That is your first mod creation. Hope this has been helpful in starting things out. I'm prob for me. Right, for me, where I'm going, I'm going to the spaceships, everybody. Spaceship modules, that's the direction I'm going into, at least for now. That's what I'm excited about. And, um, yeah, so that way, because I feel like if you load up an exterior landscape like that, a, a world, it's going to take a lot of resources because there's so much going on. I don't think it'd be so as, oh, Justin, I don't think it would be as intensive, but who knows? I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong. So, hope you enjoyed this journey, everybody. Yeah, we have the fun crate here. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. But beyond that, have yourselves an amazing day. Don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel as everything does help out. And we'll see you again next time. Peace out, everybody. Stay on the hearts as well. Thanks so much for all love and support as always. Without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon, guys. Peace.